Hey, what's up guys, Matt here. Today I'll be going through Gemini Jets' new June 2019 new releases. I haven't done a release video in some time, and I know you have all been keen for me to make these videos so you can find out which are the newest releases, but I simply just haven't gotten around to it due to time. Um, I'm very constrained at the moment with personal things, so getting uh, on top of these as soon as they come out is very difficult, but... Uh, this time around it works out so I'm just gonna go through these so I start with this this was an announcement um, not so long ago so this, this isn't necessarily part of any release but it's for 1 to 400 scale it's a brand new airport terminal and airport mat you see they're quite pricey I would like one for 1 to 200 scale so just so I don't have to remake my airport again after it got destroyed uh, which I never got to show you guys unfortunately but uh, so these are just some of the pictures of this airport terminal and mat and it looks very cool so you can read out this whole description for yourself uh, but basically it's sort of like an animated terminal you've got lights and everything I'm just gonna quickly breeze through these pictures and it does look very very cool And there we go. So, um, Gemini Jets, if you are listening, please do this in 1 to 200 scale. But anyway, let's head on to the uh, June 2019 releases. So, we'll start with the Air France uh, Boeing 777-300ER. Registration is FGZNL. Cool looking model. American Airlines A321neo in 400AN. Not bad. Then we have the American Airlines 737-800 in 921NN in the polished retro, so their former livery. Looks very nice. British Airways 747-400 GBNLY in the Landor retro. This is one of the uh, aircraft that were painted into one of British Airways' former liveries um, in celebration. I believe it was 80 years. Might be wrong. But 80, I think it was 80 years. That was the whole point of those deliveries. Delta A330 900 Neo in 401DZ. Cool looking uh, model. I don't know if this is the first A330 Neo uh, released by Gemini Jets. There's so many models. It's just. Um, just can't think off the top of my head right now. Anyway. I don't. I think this is the first, but uh, it doesn't look like there was any last month. No, but it could have been one the month before. Anyway, Emirates A380 Blue Expo 2020 livery A6 EOC. FedEx 737-800 uh, GNPTD, obviously freighter. So it looks like it's um. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, nice model. It's not something you would typically see. I believe this is a new mold. So they may have... Um, I may be wrong. This one seems... Like they did it for 200 scale. Unless the A330 Neo is the new, new mold. But I'm not sure if they've done a Convy 580 before. In 2041. And I, I was... I was told that there was one new mold in this release. So it's one or the other. North Central. Um, and then we have United 777-200ER in 796UA. Nice model. And last is the Western 737-300 in 306WA. And that's a pretty pretty cool retro livery. Uh, the cheat line doesn't just uh, end and that's it. It uh, links up with the... Uh, with the logo, so that's pretty cool. Elingus A330 300 E I E D Y. I thought they would have released this um, a little further back, but uh, we have it now. Not sure if I will get this one. I don't think I will. And I'm not a fan of that new livery. Just too bland and boring. Some of you may have already heard, heard my thoughts on that. Um, I'm with the majority. I don't think it's that good. And that's 
that's the problem with liveries these days, they're all turning the same. Alaska Airlines A319, N530VA, and just recently, um, Virgin America has a fish, I, I, I believe it was recently, I may be wrong, I believe Virgin Atlantic is officially changed, very recently, um, changed everything to Alaska Airlines. So there was obviously a cutoff date for when the Virgin Atlantic brand would not exist, and I believe that was very recently when that uh, occurred. American A321neo is the same as 1400 scale, so it's N400AN. Cool looking model. Hawaiian 717200N490HA. I have this model, I'm not sure if I reviewed this one or the one in their former livery. Um, I believe it was the one in their former livery, so I'm still yet to review. It's, it's one of them anyway. Uh, but I do have this model, so I won't be getting this one. Japan Air Self Defense Force 777-300ER 801111. Uh, I have this model. I believe it's an in-flight model. Uh, in-flight mold. I'm not sure if it was released by in-flight. Uh, was it JC Wings? One or the other. I think it's in-flight. And I also have the 747. I'm still yet to review, of course. Uh, there's a lot of models I'm yet to review. But I do have it. A KLM 747-400. PHBFW. I have one in their current livery, so I do not need one. But it is a cool model nonetheless. All KLM models, I think, are, are very nice looking aircraft. And then we have the same one, but the flaps slats extended. Obviously, it does not show it in this picture, but I can assure you the 747 flaps extended models are absolutely filled with detail and it's pretty accurate. Uh, I have a couple uh, flaps extended 747s and um, I'm thinking about getting more because they look that good. Um, Thai Lion Air 737 Max 9 HS LSI. Now, whatever you think of this aircraft, um, Boeing's had their issues with this aircraft, and uh, I don't, I don't like people buying it on the basis of that. I like people buying it on the basis of the look of the aircraft, of what a purse of personal attachments towards the aircraft. But uh, you know. Viva Air A320 HK5273 This is their pink livery And that looks pretty cool Anyway guys, um, I hope you have enjoyed This is a fairly good release um, I would like a 737, I have actually got a 737 Max 8 um, from Southwest, which I'm yet to review, I think. Uh, I would like some more 737 Maxes, of course, regardless of what has happened. Um, those tragic events. But nothing really does it for me. And I don't think I will be getting anything this month, which is quite a surprise. But I still think it's a good month for a lot of collectors. Uh, but anyway, if you did like this video, please leave a like, comment, tell me which models you're going to get, what do you think of this release, subscribe for more, share this video as well so other people know about these new releases and see if they want to get any of them. I think there's a good amount of models. Uh, I personally think that 1200 got the best release because 1400, other than maybe the North Central, FedEx, and Delta models, it is very, very repetitive. And possibly the Western as well, but I don't think that's enough to overcome the um, the, the variety of models we've seen this month for 1 to 200 scale. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.